Good morning, YouTube. I hope you're all well. Well, today I'm going to try this Condor plug, which was very kindly sent by Cass Piper Cassidy. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Condor, but that could be that I tried it when I was first sort of learning to smoke a pipe, and obviously like everybody else, I sort of went through that aromatic phase until I got my things sort of settled and my taste buds aligned. And obviously now I quite enjoy what I would call proper tobacco. Um, so I'm going to give this a go. Fingers crossed I enjoy it. I'm also going to smoke for the first time this Peterson pipe, which Karen got me for Christmas. It's a curry number nine if i'm not mistaken and um, it's just sort of been stuck in the pipe rack at the back of the bootcase there and i keep forgetting to try it so i thought oh well i'll give its maiden voyage with this condor so before i pack it we'll have a look and see what the plug's like this isn't an easy one to actually get hold of um i think you can only actually get it from the tobacconists in Ireland. If I can get it open. And from what I've heard, it's quite expensive just for the 25 gram block. Now it is a plug. Oh, oh that does smell nice. Mm. There you go. That's very, very tightly packed. You could almost just bite into it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then get this sliced up and um, broken up, whatever, put into the pipe and we'll get started with it and we'll see how we go. Well, I didn't actually cut any off. All I did was just sort of rip rip a strip off the top and I did a, a roll and stuff method. Um, it, it's very, very tightly packed, this stuff, so I was trying to break it up and rub it out, but uh, I wasn't having it, so I thought, well, probably the best way is just to tear a strip off. If I had a sharper knife with this, I probably would have just sliced, sliced down the front there, but uh, it, it peeled away easily enough. And um, we've got it lit there now. Got it started. I'll see how I get on with this and what it might be worth doing is grabbing, I'm up at Newcastle next week, it might be worth just grabbing a pouch of Condor and do a little bit of a side by side comparison. So far it's going well.
been a while since I've bought any tobacco in the UK so I'm not really looking forward to the sting that I'll get next week when I pop up there I don't think I'll be buying a lot just be topping up on a couple of my favourites and uh, that'll be it really It isn't bad. I think again because it was one of the first over-the-counter blends I tried and I'm assuming that this is going to be far superior than the ready rubbed anyway. But um, yeah, the first time I tried it, it was... It just didn't sit with us. But again, it was when I was first starting out and I wasn't used to sort of heavier nicotine tobacco or so. Mm. It's only got a nice meaty taste to it. It's my first bowl of the day, so I am expecting some form of nicotine punch. The other thing is, as well as this does have a 9mm filter in, so hopefully it'll take some of the sting out of it yeah like I say unfortunately you can only get this in Ireland and from what I gather it's really really expensive for just 25 grams you're sort of paying the sort of money that you would expect to pay for at least 50 well yeah not bad thanks guys Well, obviously, as those in the UK know, we had a horrendous heat wave hit us last week and, and at the start of the week. It was breaking records and oh, it was really, really bad here. Um, I think it's uh, kicked off my vertigo again, so I've not been the best at the last few days, but so far, touch wood, I don't feel too bad this morning, so... But in a couple of months time we'll all be complaining about the wet and the cold. I just find it hilarious the way the the newscasters go on in the UK, how you know it's like how they really scaremonger so much about what's going on and 
make everything sound like it's the end of the world. And it's like, oh, but, you know, people can't handle this sort of heat, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, next year they'll be sitting on a beach in Dubai. You know, it's like, come on. Just total scaremongery. Very nice retro hail. Get that nice nutty taste there. Mm, really nice. I am enjoying this. Like I say, I'll have to get a pouch and do a side by side and give it a try. So I'll try and grab one next week when I'm out. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this and try and catch up on some YouTube videos. I've been uh, neglecting it a bit lately. Um, so I hope everybody's well. I hope you've all had a great weekend. And like I say, I hope last weekend the weather didn't hit you too hard. And um, hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.